What's up Skate Athletics fam? Welcome back to another video. This week I'm going to show you three medicine ball exercises that will improve your explosive strength. All three of these exercises will follow speed strength training guidelines, which means they're going to produce peak adaptations in rate of force development and power output. Additional benefits include increased rate coding and improvements in neural drive, inter and intramuscular coordination, and motor unit synchronization, which basically means you're going to get more explosive. So exercise one, the med ball thruster. Well, this exercise is gonna increase your power in the vertical direction, which in turn is gonna help increase your vertical jump. So it's gonna help you in situations when you need to really ollie high to get up onto a rail, onto a mani pad, or when you're trying to ollie up a ridiculous amount of stairs. So to perform this exercise, start with the med ball at your chest. Next, drop down into a squat, making sure you're sitting your hips back, pressing your knees wide, and keeping your spine straight. Go as low as your mobility allows it, then explode up, pressing the med ball overhead. After you finish the press, pull the ball down with you into that next rep. I want you to think accelerate down into the squat, control that bottom position, then explode back up into the press. If you want to progress this exercise, just throw the ball as high as you can. Just make sure to catch the ball and anticipate that into the squat. Don't let that weight of the ball come crashing down and round your back. Make sure you're keeping that core tight. Perform about two to four sets with six reps. And for the tempo, make sure you're moving that ball as fast and explosively as possible. And after your set, take about two minutes of rest to make sure you're able to give 100% effort on each rep. Exercise number two is the med ball alternating scoop throw. The med ball alternating scoop is a great exercise for developing rotational power. Being able to rotate quickly and powerfully in any 180 or 360 variation is absolutely key. You'll notice there's always certain skaters that just look better when they're doing their 360 tricks. And it's no wonder why. They have insane rotational strength and proprioceptive control. So to help develop these two areas, Start facing the wall in an athletic stance. Keep your arms straight and start with the ball at your hips. Rotate one way to gain some momentum, then throw the ball as hard as possible at the wall, keeping your arms straight and generating the power from your trunk. Keep an athletic stance the whole time and make sure you're bracing your abs every time you catch and throw the medicine ball. Perform about two to four sets and about five to 10 reps on each side. Just make sure you're able to give 100% effort on each rep. Once again, I want you to take about a two minute rest to allow your body for full recovery. The third and final exercise is the three-way ice skater. This exercise will increase single leg strength, stability, and power, which I guarantee will translate directly to your skating. Here's how. Every time you do a crooked grind, no slide, manual, and so many other tricks, you're relying on single leg balance, strength, and stability. So if we enhance those physical characteristics off the board, there's no doubt in my mind that it's gonna help your skating. Start on one leg, jump as far and as high as possible out roughly at a 45 degree angle. Stabilize, then jump back to the original position. Next, jump straight out to the side, stabilize, then return. Then finally, jump behind at about a 45 degree angle. And for this jump, you can rotate a little bit if that feels more comfortable. This exercise is very challenging, so just do your best to stay on one leg the entire time. And don't forget to jump with full effort every single rep. For this exercise, I want you to perform two to four sets with six total jumps, which is one cycle through the three-way ice skater pattern, and then take the rest for about two minutes to once again allow for full recovery. Let's quickly review all three of these exercises so we can turn it into a full workout. So since we're targeting that speed strength adaptation, we'll be performing a moderate number of sets and a pretty low number of reps. Specifically, two to four sets for each exercise, six reps for the med ball thruster, about five to 10 reps for the alternating med ball scoop on each side, and about six total jumps for the three-way ice skater on each leg. Each rest period is gonna be two minutes. I know we've discussed that a lot in this video, but that's just to reiterate, every single rep needs to be done at full effort, so that's really just to allow for full recovery. As far as the intensity goes, which is the weight of the medicine ball, I want you to keep it quite light, specifically about a 30% RPE, which just means rating of perceived exertion. So if I were to ask you just to do one rep with that medicine ball, it should be roughly around 30% effort. So yes, the load of the medicine ball is quite light, but that means I really want you moving that ball fast. And to repeat just one more time, this is where that tempo comes in. So every single rep needs to be done at full effort, as explosively and as hard as possible. So that's why I want you to use a relatively light medicine ball. Just remember, if you look at that equation for power, you can either increase the force, but in this case, we're really focusing on the velocity. And I think that about covers everything. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed three of my favorite medicine ball exercises. If you liked this week's video, please hit that like button down below to show your support. 
and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate it as always. I'll see you guys later on Skate Athletics.